today we people are going to discuss today okay see today we people are going to discuss today we people are going to discuss the okay for all entries for all entries okay today we people are going to discuss okay today we will start going to discuss for all entries using alv report okay today we are going to discuss today we are going to discuss uh, for all entries uh, using the alv report okay and uh, one more thing see here already we discussed already uh, already we discussed uh, okay for all entries in normal reports okay did you people remember that one see in normal reports we discussed for all entries okay now we are going to discuss the for all entries okay now we are going to discuss the for all entries using the alv report using the alv report yeah actually uh, somebody asked me uh, three or four days back maybe three or four days back with they uh, somebody asked me please try to join okay please try to uh, please uh, please try to join for okay multiple tables field using the for all entries somebody asked me right so see here today we are going to discuss that one only today we are going to discuss that one only okay yeah you see here actually for example see okay if you want to join the multiple tables if you if you want to join okay if you want to join the multiple tables so okay we people can use the joins we people can use the joins and uh, for all entries we people can use the joins and for all entries but the point is what uh, okay compare with the joins so for all entries is better compare with the joins so for all entries is always better always for all entries is better okay and uh, a small question from my side here is an interview question that's why i'm asking you okay uh, why see i already explained the difference between the joins and for all entries and i said uh, which is see which is the, which will give the better performance joins or for all entries i said i explained that one also okay now can you please tell me can you please send the message which is better if you want to join the multiple tables if you want to join the multiple table fields okay which one you people can use it join set for all entries if it is a for all entries why if it is a for all entries why if it is a for all entries why for all entries means why if it is a for all entries means why what is the exact reason no problem send all the people send the message all the people because uh, see i am waiting for the uh, i am waiting for the wrong answers not for correct answers see if it is a correct answer no oh, that's okay if it is a wrong answer then i can give the explanation okay accessing or fetching the data faster than table yes the database will be hit only one time mm, okay yeah see uh, everybody said uh, good answers everybody said good answer mohit he said uh, as the performance is increased using the joins it will go through a condition for each output in the work area ah yes exactly mohit correct brother and at the same time okay at the same time the main reason is uh, for all entries happening at the application level process application level process somebody navin or send navin send the perfect answer the remaining c the remaining also correct answer but the point is main point is this one which one navin said uh, navin said okay navin kumar he said for all it is at c s 100 percent first answer we need to provide this one why see why for all it is faster than joins means joins process happening at the database level for all entries processing happening at the application level compare with the database level 
okay, application level process is always good. Okay. Then the people see, okay, first you need to give the answer. This one for all entries uh, is very good because it's happening at the application level process. If anybody asks you, can you explain in detail? Then you need to say the remaining answers which you provided. Fetching the data very fast or something, something different, different answers you provide, right? Those answers you need to provide. Okay. Okay. Uh, data, it will hit the only ones at the database level. Something, something. Okay. You need to pass. Yeah. I'm very happy with your answers because everybody is preparing them, I think. Okay. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. Please keep it up like this. Okay. Today, we are going to discuss uh, for all entries how to join the multiple tables. For example, I'm going to take, <clears throat> for example, <clears throat> for example, I'm going to take uh, uh, three or four tables. For example, I'm going to take, uh, for example, VBA K. Okay. And I'm going to take the table VBA K and VBA P. Next, uh, I'm going to take Mara and uh, MAKT. Okay. Mara and MAKT. See here, my client asked me. My client asked me. Okay, Anil Krishna, I have four tables. I have four tables. The first one is uh, VBAK. VBAK means what to say? Sales document <coughs> header table. Sales document header table. Second one is a sales document item table. Sales document item table. Next one, Mara. Mara means what to say? Okay, material. Okay, material table, material general information table. Next to uh, MAKT, that means what? MAKT means what say? Material description table. Material description table. Material description table. These are the four tables. These are the four tables we have. These are the, okay, these are the four tables. Okay, see here the point is, here the point is my client asked me, I need to